Hi, my name is Miguel Amato. I'm one of the bariatric surgeons with Long Street Clinic in Gainesville, Suwanee, and Razzleton. Um, I've been asked to talk today about some of the more common questions we get in the world of bariatric surgery. Uh, today's question is, what can you expect when it comes to pouch size or sleeve size long-term after a gastric bypass or a gastric sleeve? Uh, very common question. People wonder, can you stretch out the, the new changes in the anatomy that were made during the time of the bypass or, or sleeve creation? And it's kind of an interesting question to me because I think the stomach's designed for a certain amount of stretch. When we eat with a standard stomach, there's gonna be a little bit of stretching that goes on there. That's a normal part of the digestion process. And after a sleeve or a bypass, that's gonna happen again. But I don't think that the stomach chronically deforms, it doesn't change its shape or size long-term in a way that we can't work with the patient to, to re restore. So you can imagine after a standard meal, you, you, you eat, you get full, the stomach then digest that food, the stomach gets smaller again. Long-term with the gastric bypass the sleeve, the same process is happening, but over time, you can train that stomach, that new stomach, that pouch, that sleeve, to accommodate more food. And the way I describe it to patients, think about those guys who eat 80 hot dogs on July 4th for competitions. They've got the same size stomach that I do. If you were to put a camera down the next day and look at their stomach, it's the same as mine. But what is different is their stomach can stretch and stretch and stretch and not complain, not, not cry out and say, hey, quit eating. And so they're able to compete in food eating competitions. I, I couldn't do that. A sleeve or a bypass long term, it's possible over time to train it to not be as upset about going over the four to six ounces we re recommend per meal. And so getting a patient who's doing an eight ounce meal or a 10 ounce meal or a 12 ounce meal back down to a four to six is usually a process of training and retraining the stomach by decreasing portion sizes, picking good satiety level foods like protein, uh, vegetables, watching out for the breads, rice, pastas, and potatoes. So it really isn't so much that the stomach stretches and deforms, but that it, asks, it basically does the job you ask it to do, and it gets better and better at that job. One of the questions um, I get from sleep patients and bypass patients is, can my new pouch or my new sleeve go back to the size it was before surgery? Um, in a sleeve surgery, you are resecting or taking out about four-fifths of the original stomach. And so no, it's not possible to, to, to stretch out that much uh, over again. Uh, a bypass patient, the pouch is about 20 to 30 milliliters in size compared to a stomach that's normally about a liter in size. So it's much smaller than the original stomach. So no, there's not an amount of stretching that goes to the degree that, that, it, that the original stomach would have, but it's more about what the stomach learns to accommodate without complaining about. So a patient who's out long-term, who's worried about stretching, usually it's a signal to come into the office, talk with one of the surgeons, and get back into the program to do those things that make the pouch act the way you want it to act so it can support you long-term in what your goals are. I, I appreciate you watching today. If you liked the video, make sure you uh, hit the, the like button, the subscribe button. Uh, if you want the notification bells, make sure you're alerted when new, uh, no, new videos come out. Uh, I'm one of the surgeons at Long Street Clinic located in Gainesville, Sewanee, and Brazelton. Uh, we are here to serve our patients' needs when it comes to weight loss, both medical and surgical. And again, thanks for your time. If you like this video, make sure you smash like and subscribe. Click on that notification bell so you get all your notifications. Uh, we're at the Long Street Clinic. Whoa! Yeah, I'm not going to do that one. Um, <laughs>